At Enterprise Compressed Gas, we receive cylinders from our customers on a regular basis. When we receive our cylinders, they must first be analyzed with a refrigerant analysis machine. This is our Neutronics Ultima ID Pro refrigerant analysis machine. We start by turning on the system and hooking up the sampling tube to the back of the refrigerant analysis machine. We then hook the other end of our sampling tube to the vapor port of the cylinder which needs to be tested. We also have the capability of testing liquid samples. This is a highly sensitive machine and sometimes it shows that the vapor in our cylinders is mixed. We always want to take a sample of the actual liquid just to make sure in case we're getting a uh, reading that is not 100% accurate. We turn on the machine and we begin the analysis process and when we are finished analyzing the refrigerant then we print out a uh, printout from the machine which tells us whether or not the refrigerant is mixed. On this sample our refrigerant came out to be 100% R22. The next step in our facility is to weigh out the cylinder once we know what is in the cylinder. Here is a scale. We place the cylinder on the scale and we have a digital readout which tells us the incoming weight of our cylinders. This particular cylinder is 57 pounds. Once we know how much our cylinder weighs, it's time to start pumping down the refrigerant. We do so into a half ton cylinder which holds 1,000 pounds of R22. This particular cylinder has a vapor port and a liquid port and on the liquid port we like to put a sight glass so when we use the push-pull method of refrigerant recovery we know when our refrigerant is no longer a liquid and is pumping gas into the big cylinder. We have a regular recovery machine. We first start by hooking up a hose to the outlet of the recovery machine to the vapor port of our refrigerant cylinder that we will be pumping the refrigerant out of. Then we take a manifold gauge set and we hook up the hook up the blue line to the or the yellow line to the vapor port on the large cylinder and then we hook up the blue line to our inlet on our recovery machine we turn our recovery ma machine to recover and then we open the outlet port we open the valves on our gauge and then we release vapor refrigerant through the entire manifold gauge set refrigerant recovery machine and hoses. Once we have refrigerant passing through the entire machine it's time to purge our hoses as well as our manifold gauge set in our machine. Once we purge the line, it's time to get another manifold gauge set. We hook the yellow hose to the liquid side of our cylinder that we are pumping down. Then we hook the blue line up to our sight glass on our half ton cylinder. We open the liquid side of our refrigerant cylinder and then we purge the line.
after we have purged the yellow line, then we open the liquid valve on our half ton cylinder and we purge the line again on our manifold. Now that we have all of our refrigerant valves open, it's time to turn on the machine. Now once our machine is turned on, we watch the sight glass until we start seeing signs of bubbles. Once we start seeing the bubbles through our sight glass, we know that the refrigerant has all pumped out of the cylinder. This process takes 5-10 minutes for a, half, for a 50 pound cylinder. Uh, once all of the bubbles disappear, we know that we are now pumping gas from the big cylinder into our little cylinder. What we do at this point is we close the liquid valve on the half ton cylinder. Then we close the liquid valve on our refrigerant recovery cylinder. Next, we close the vapor side of our half ton cylinder. Then we close the vapor side of our manifold gauge set. And then it's time to purge the recovery machine. Now once we purge our recovery machine and our inlet pressure reaches zero or below, it's time to close the vapor side of our refrigerant recovery machine. And close the valve on our outlet of our recovery machine. And turn off the system. Now we take the outlet hose from our recovery machine and we place the outlet hose on our vapor side of our half ton cylinder. Then we take the yellow hose of a manifold gauge set and hook it up to the inlet side of our refrigerant recovery machine. Then from our recovery cylinder we hook up the other two hoses of the manifold gauge set to recover from the actual cylinder that we're wishing to pump down. Once we hook up the hoses, we also open the valves. Now it's time to open the valves on our manifold gauge set. Once the valves are open on our manifold gauge set, it's time to set our recovery machine back to recover. We also open up the outlet side of the recovery machine and then we purge all the air out of the hoses, machine, and manifold gauge set. Once we purge the air, it's time to open the vapor side of our half ton cylinder and turn on the recovery machine. Now once the cylinder is pumped down to zero PSI, or a vacuum. 
it's time to purge the recovery machine after closing the valves on our recovery cylinder. The push-pull method of refrigerant recovery is the most effective way of transferring refrigerant. To make life a lot easier on our customers, we want them to utilize this way of recovering refrigerant so that it costs them less money on electricity and it takes less time. If you decide to use vapor recovery for refrigerant recovery, just know that it takes about 10 to 100 times longer to recover the refrigerant. Once we've pulled all the refrigerant out of our cylinder, we purge our recovery machine and close the valves. Now it's time to hook up our recovery cylinder, which we just pumped down to a vacuum pump, to pull it into a deep vacuum. A problem that we run into is sometimes our vapor samples show up with a trace amount of refrigerant. Now this refrigerant trace is not found in the, in the liquid sample, but sometimes it can be found in the vapor sample. We don't charge our customers for this occurrence. Once we pull our cylinders into a deep vacuum, it's time to weigh our cylinders and get an outbound weight. This particular cylinder weighs 28 pounds empty. We take our 28 pound reading and we subtract it from our incoming weight of 57 pounds. That gives us 29 pounds of R22 refrigerant, which we paid 73 cents a pound for this customer. The next thing we do is we document that weight of refrigerant in our refrigerant recovery log so that if one of our customers is ever audited, that information is available.